Hey everybody and welcome to the character creation series. In this segment we're going to be discussing animation. As you can see I have the model here and it's fully rigged and ready to go. We're in pose mode. So that means we can move the armatures around. First thing we're going to want to do is split the screen. Change it to the dope sheet. Switch that to the action editor. Move over here. You can add a new animation by clicking new. Name it whatever you want. Now, say we were going to move the head. Select the bone for the head. And I'm going to press R two times. Just tap it really quick and I can move it any way I want. As you can see here. So, say we have it like this. Now, if I want to lock this in place, I press the I key for insert keyframe, and I can insert a keyframe for the rotation of this bone. As you can see right here on the action editor, it's got the bone right here, the head bone, and each point is a keyframe. We're on frame one, and it puts the frame, the keyframe right there on frame one. So we skip ahead to say frame 10 and we move it all the way over like that and insert a keyframe there. Scroll, scroll between the frames. Blender automatically fills in the animation data. Same for any other bone. So we want to move the arm a little bit on frame one. Frame one, we can move the arm. And then on frame ten. Move it again. So now if you want to play back the animation, let's go back to frame one. And you just press Alt A and it plays back. Press escape to stop it, and it switches back to frame one. Now Let's say we want to reset the position of the bones. You can select the bone you want to reset, or you can just press A, select all of them. You want to press Alt R to reset the rotation, Alt G to reset the location, and Alt S to reset the size. Of course, if you don't insert a keyframe with that, it will automatically go back to the preset keyframe. You can also edit keyframes by Selecting them with the A key, you can delete them with the X key, and you can even move them with the G key. So here you can see I press G and I'm moving them to different frames. That's about it for this video. In the next segment, we'll be looking at how I set up my final scene.